Messina was prized by the new zoologists. A unique combination of wind and tide traps millions of microorganisms in the cul-de-sac of the harbor. When Heckel first dipped his net into this animal stew, he met the living Radiolarian. Messina, February 29th, 1860. Every morning I am newly amazed at the inexhaustible richness of these tiny and delicate structures. It is hard to believe that each of these creatures is a single cell. Some are like grids or broken nets or stars. Others like tiny bowls or helmets or bells. Still others like tender houses, windmills, and fantastic towers. That I thrust myself with sheer passion on these scientific treasures, which are simultaneously so pleasing to the aesthetic eye, you can well imagine. And suddenly, the conflict within Heckel, between mind and heart, precision and passion, began to melt away. Like Coleridge's mariner, he looked into the sea and suffered a transformation of the spirit. Everything now came before me in new and beautiful and remarkable forms. I began to see and hear not only the outer forms, but also the inner content the nature and the history of things.